What are you doing down there? Do you want to come up to the table? Hi, everyone. I was just getting my steps in for my Step To It For May Day Challenge, which is a an R Life fundraising um, thing that I'm involved with. For the whole of May, I'll be getting steps in every day to raise money for the charity so our volunteers can still save lives at sea. If you'd like to get involved and support, the link for that is in the comments below. A few good mornings coming in already. Hi, everyone. So we're on week six and the last week of the series of Water Safety Wednesdays. And today um, we are going on a virtual holiday, which is why I've got my cool shirt on and my string of flowers. Um, ah, let me show you what we're going on our virtual holiday in. We're going in this cool camper van. It's cool, isn't it? I need your help, actually. I need a name for this camper van. So if you've got any good ideas of a name, please put that, that, that in the comments as well. And let me know who's coming along. Who's coming on holiday? Who's coming on a virtual holiday with me? It's going to be good. Uh, I'll also be playing with some sand and some water. And uh, I think I've already said we'll be learning about the tides, but we will be learning about the tides. We won't be going into too much detail, but we'll definitely learn some stuff, which is good. Okay, let me see who's watching. Ben, who is seven from Hertfordshire. Hello, Ben. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Good morning. Tracy and Withensee, hello. Henry and Nancy, you coming along on the holiday? Yes? Sad it's the last one. Ah, oh, me too. I've had fun. This six weeks has gone so quickly. Hetty Clemmy, hi. Hi, everyone. So, um, ah, before we name the camper van and coming along, we're going to do a quick brief thing about tides. So, this ball, ah, before I do anything with it, I need to see if, how many headers I can do. I'm going to go five, okay? You count. Oh, oh, I've lost the ball. That'll teach me for trying clever. Four, nearly. And so, we're going to end that this ball is planet Earth. We're on planet Earth. You're on planet Earth. I'm on planet Earth. And planet Earth has lots of water on it. And the moon, we're going to pretend that this is the moon. It's a moon ball, actually. Can you see that? So it's definitely the moon. And the moon goes round planet Earth. And some of you might have learned about gravity. The forces that act upon us on planet Earth that make the water move. So tide is water that's moving. How incredible is that? The planet Earth that we're all on, that's also got water on it. Well, I think we're all on it, unless you're an extraterrestrial, then you're not. Comment if you are. Um, and the moon goes round planet Earth and makes the water move. Amazing. I think about that for too long because I'll just sit in dumb with silence and that won't be a very interesting video. Anyway, thanks, Paul. Oh, straight out the door. Okay. So, pictures. This, I've decided, is Terry. And his head looks like a tomato. So I'm going to call him Terry the tomato head. And he's standing on a beach. This is the sand here. And when the tide is out, the water might be down here. So his feet aren't in the water. But as the tide comes in, it'll come up the beach, and here he'll be getting cold feet, having a bit of a paddle. He's he's realized Terry the tomato head. It moves. Tide is water that's moving, and we need to know about it because sometimes it can affect how safe we are on a beach. Next picture. So on some big wide stretches of sandy beach you get undulations and sandbars 
that go like that. Sometimes these are really big, so you can't really see that you're on a higher level of sand. If you are on one of these types of beaches, the tide might come in initially and fill in the troughs. Like, like that. So making this an island that you can't get off. And then as it comes in even further, it might make it disappear completely. Uh-oh, and now he's in trouble. Another reason we need to know about the tides. This is our map of the UK and Ireland, and this is what we'll be using to go on our virtual holiday later. But before we do that, we're going to go into my garden. I'm going to have a look around my garden and play with some sand and some water. Are you going to come with me? Come on. Let me get all my cables. Oh, I need to open the door a bit more. Here we are. Oh, it's nice here today. Um, okay, so here is my sand in my wheelbarrow. I call that wheelbarrow beach. I'm going to set you up there. Put that down there like that. Okay, perfect. I hope you can all see that. I hope the sound's better this week as well. So here we have Wheelbarrow Beach. Lovely, lovely beach. And we've got a couple of our old friends. Shaggy. I can't see the screen right now, so I'm just trusting that you can see Shaggy there. Shaggy and Fred. And they are going for a nice stroll along Wheelbarrow Beach. Beautiful beach. The sun's out. Our life could be more perfect. Nice day out at the beach. And Shaggy and Fred see a sand dune, a sandbar that they're going to try and walk to the top of. Hey, Fred, shall we walk to the top of that sand dune? Good idea, Shaggy. So they're going for a nice walk. Oh, it's hard work walking up this hill. Oh, God, when they get to the top, they're pretty tired. They have a little sit down and a rest. There you go, Shaggy. You get comfortable. Whoa, there we go, perfect. And Fred, you can have a little chill out too. And look at it's a nice sunny day. They've got a parasol to keep them in the shade. Oh, it's a bit small. There you go, nice bit of shade for your knees. And they've got a beach ball to have a little play with. So you hold that, Fred. Good balancing. So everything's so perfect, having a nice day out at the beach. But what they don't realize is that the tide is out right now and it's about to come in. So let's see what happens to Shaggy and Fred with tide. Came. Here it comes. So it's coming in quite quickly, actually, and it's surrounding the little sand island that they're on. And now they are on an island. They can't get back to the car park. They're stranded. That water is really cold and they're starting to get a little bit worried. And the tide is still coming in and slowly the sandbar, that sand dune, is starting to fully disappear. It's coming higher and higher and higher. Shaggy, I'm scared. Hopefully one of them's got a phone so they can call 999 or 112 and ask for the Coast Guard. But the tide's still coming in. Oh no, this is a disaster. Uh oh. Ah, ah, they're in the water. Fred, throw on your back. Shaggy, throw on your back. Get your airways out of the water. Oh, poor Fred and Shaggy in that freezing water. And that actually happens on some beaches, which is why it's really important for us to know what the tide is doing. Obviously, we're just having a bit of fun there. But when it happens to real people, that's a really stressing experience and really dangerous and the outcome could be really bad. Um, ah, I hope you all saw that well. Did you see that well? Comment and tell me if you did. I'm just trusting that you did. I couldn't see the screen and the sunshine outside. Um, all right. So let me neaten everything up a little bit. Jude Brissimo. Um, okay, so we're now going to go on our virtual holiday. I need, to, I need a name 
That's what I'm going to do first. I need a name for the camper van. Carlos the camper van says Hamish, who is six. That's a nice idea. Carlos, what other have you got? Um, hi, Sue. Hi, Ruth. Um, I can't see many suggestions for, for names. It might have to be Carlos. I'm happy with Carlos. Let's go for Carlos. Okay. Hamish. Here we go. Carlos. Carlos the camper van. Yeah. And that's Hamish. You have a seat at the back. Hamish. Who else is in my camper van with me? Stan the van. Oh, that would have been a good one. I'll name the next camper van Stan. Um, Lee, these are so quick. I need to see who else is coming holiday with me. Uh, let's have a look. Sebi, you've got a seat in the back. There you go. We'll do one more. I will do Thomas and Emily. Thomas. I don't know if your hair really like that, Thomas. I'm guessing an Emily. Have you got long hair? And uh, one more to sit up front with me. One more, one more. Oscar, Oscar. Here you go, Oscar. You're sitting up front in the camper van. Don't worry, you're all in here. You just haven't got a window seat. So, first off, we're starting in London. And before we drive in, we're going to go for a stroll just to stretch our legs. So we're going to start here in London. I'm going to go for a nice along the Thames just to get some fresh air in our lungs, enjoy the sunshine, take in a bit of the London scenery and uh, stretch out before we start our tour and drive. Um, so, and we keep walking along the Thames, then we come to Chiswick and then we come to the Chiswick 8, which is what I'm going to tell you about first. So that island there in the Thames is the Chiswick 8 and people at low tide can walk from the path across to the Chiswick 8 to explore the wildlife, walk through the trees and it's a nice thing to do but then when the tide comes in like it is on this picture you can't get back to the path because this channel of water here is too deep and cold and dangerous so people get stranded on the island, and then Chiswick RNLI lifeboat has to come out and rescue them. Chiswick RNLI lifeboat is the second busiest lifeboat station in the UK. So that's the first one. There we go, done. And now let's go on our holiday. Go up front with me. You put the music on, okay? You're in charge of the music. Oscar, press play. I'll drive. First of all, we'll stop off at McDonald's for a McDonald's breakfast. And then I'm going to drive from London up to the North Norfolk coast to Brancaster, which is where we are now up here. We're there. Oscar, turn the music off. Well done. Everyone, get out. Let's go and check out Brancaster. Bring your buckets, bring your spades. We're at the beach. So, Brancaster is a lovely beach, um, but 
it has a very large tidal range, a very shallow profile beach. So it goes out a long way and then comes in really quickly and cuts people off on certain patches of the beach, which is why it's actually quite dangerous. And there's a particular spot that people walk to um, to check out uh, an old shipwreck. But they walk there and then the tide comes in and then they get stranded there and need and need rescuing or it gets really serious and really dangerous. Uh, Hunts Danton lifeboat gets called to a lot of those rescues. But we have to consider how worrying that would be for each of those individual people who are in that situation with the cold water. It's really dangerous. But if we do things safely, it's still an amazing place to go. Um, so where's next? Oh, we're going for a long drive now up to Scotland. Let's get the music on. Oscar, music on. Everyone else all right in the back? Hope so. Driving from Brancaster up here. If we come close to where you live, put that in the comments. And we're driving up to Edinburgh. Oh, it's so far. I'm getting pretty tired of driving. Oh, you drive for a bit. You take the steering wheel. You hold it. Okay, you're driving. I'm going to have a little snooze in the back. Wake me up when we get there, okay? Are we there? Are we there? Ah, oh, good. Turn the music off then. Let's go and check it out. Oh, we're near Edinburgh. We are checking out Crammond Island in the Firth of Forth. That's another cool place to go. People like to go there for a nice walk along the causeway to Crammond Island and they can explore the wildlife and there's some old wartime buildings that they, people can check out too. But this place is dangerous because people walk out at low tide, check out the island, then the tide comes in and covers this causeway and they can't get back. Um, Queen's Ferry RNI lifeboat often has to deal with a lot of those rescues. People getting stranded. That wouldn't be a very good end to the day, would it? Anyway, back in the van. Should we have some fish and chips? First? Then start going to the next place. Oscar music, good. Heading south, getting a bit warmer. Past Liverpool. Oh, you can't even see. Up to Hollyhead, and we're going to get the ferry. across to Dublin. Here we go, it's us on the ferry here. And we've landed, we've arrived. And now that we're in Dublin, we are going to check out Sandy Mount Strand. A lovely wide sandy beach. Families go there with their dogs. Go for a nice long walk out towards the sea at low tide, and then they turn around and take in the beautiful scenery behind Dublin. Beautiful place to go, but then the tide comes in and people get stranded on sandbars. Um, and this picture here, the Don Leary lifeboat has to rescue these people, but also the Coast Guard helicopter sometimes comes out. And this is the Coast Guard helicopter saving a lady and her dog who got stranded on a sandbar out at Sandy Mountain Strand. You that. So all around the UK and Ireland, nationwide, the tide catches people out and it's really dangerous, which is why it's so important to check it and make sure we know what the dangers are in our in our localities. So back in the back on the ferry. Back in the camper van. Reversing. And we are driving down to Wales. The rain's coming, jokes. Uh, towards Cardiff, and we are going to check out Sully Island. Sully Island is here, and at low tide, you can walk. Across here to 
to the island to check it out and explore good fun but then the tide comes in the tide's in at the moment on this picture which is why there's water here um and then you can't get back so people get stranded in fact barry lifeboat since lockdown began has had to rescue five people from that island already no hi ryan age nine evesham evesham is that how you sit i'd say um where's next ah uh, in fact that's the last place on our virtual holiday so we're going to just cruise back to london now but before we do that so, so, so island, there's lots of other islands in the uk that have that same problem here's st michael's mount in penzance that's a lovely island but if you walk across there and then the tide comes in you'll be you'll be staying there until the tide goes out again uh, and here's another one in the northeast called Holy Island. And this one catches vehicles out. I've got a picture of that. I'll show you in a second. This is Holy Island in the northeast. Check this vehicle out. It's a horse van. And the tide came in as it was uh, driving back from Holy Island. And look at that. I hope there's no horse in the back. Disaster. Wave as you go up the A12 past our house. Hi, Jane. <laughs> Um, so, uh, we are now back in London, end of the trip. Who had a nice holiday? I did. This virtual holiday is as good as it gets at the moment, isn't it? Um, so, um, that actually brings us to the end of the show almost. I've got some takeaway activities um for you again with my board so we'll, we'll look at those um there's a really good activity uh, in the link uh, what, what is linked below in the comments um say it's called how risky is this so you can check that out. that's a really good thing and it summarizes everything we've been talking about over the last six weeks um the takeaway activities this week are i know ah uh, this first one not all of you to do this but some of you might have some sand at home and if you have create your own sandy beach scene and pour water on, onto it like the tides coming in and if you want you could record that and put it on facebook with the hashtag water safety wednesdays i enjoy checking those out sort of during the week to see what water safety wednesdays hashtags there are so we'll put that one on there Oh, this is something I found out about yesterday. So Surfers Against Sewage, that's a Facebook page. They are doing live videos like I'm doing um, called Digital Ocean School. And they're really interesting, really cool. So you can check that out. That's a cool thing to do. And lastly, my video last week uh, where we were doing a history lesson and learning about Grace Darling, the sound was very good, but I've re-recorded it and that's now on the RNLI YouTube page with good sound so if you didn't hear it very well you can watch that again um, but this is an activity related to that Grace Darling won a gallantry medal so make your own RNLI gallantry medal to wear I reckon you're already brave there we go um, and that's the end um, so the UK and Ireland has some of the biggest tidal changes in the in the world so before you head out make sure it's safe check the tides and while you're out be aware of your surroundings and the tides direction um and until i do something again make sure you all look after yourselves and uh stay strong during lockdown um i've really enjoyed it and thanks for thanks for tuning in um yeah bye everyone